ओके सो हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज आदि एंड यू आर वाचिंग आदि एंड जावा आदि के साथ जावा आप सब सब लोग पढ़ रहे हैं आज मैं आपके लिए एक इंटरव्यू लाया हूँ हमारे साथ है उत्कर्ष ओके okay. और हम देखने वाले हैं कुछ कोर जावा और एडवांस जावा के क्वेश्चंस उनको पूछेंगे देखते हैं कैसे आंसर्स वो देते हैं और आपके लिए वो आंसर्स बहुत एडवांटेजेबल रहने वाले हैं तो आखिर तक बने रहो इस वीडियो में इंटरव्यू का मजा लो अच्छे से ठीक है टेंशन नहीं लेना है इंटरव्यू हमें देने हैं तो क्या करो अच्छे से इंटरव्यू देखो ठीक है तो स्क्रीन पे हमारे सामने उत्कर्ष है उत्कर्ष सबसे पहले मेरा क्वेश्चन से कि ब्रदर आप कैसे हो आ, सर बहुत बढ़िया आप कैसे okay, मैं भी अच्छा हूँ ठीक है सो लेट स्टार्ट उत्कर्ष कैन यू टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट यूर सर सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर माई नेम इज उत्कर्ष किशोर नेवाड़कर आई एम फ्रॉम नासिक Uh, I recently completed my bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from R S Sapat College of Engineering, Nasi, uh, and then I joined the Kiran Academy for Java Full Stack Development course, where okay. I got the technical skills like uh, Core Java, uh, and in Advanced Java, uh, I got skills in Spring Boot, Spring MVC, then Hibernate, JDBC, and uh, the database knowledge about the SQL, MySQL, and uh, that's all, sir. Okay, okay, Utkarsh. Good, good, Utkarsh. Uh, Utkarsh, my first question to you. Uh, this yes. interview is based on Core Java and Advanced Java. So, can you tell yes. me what is exactly Maven project? Sir, a Maven project uh, is basically that uh, in that in Maven project, uh, the dependencies are uh, already present because uh, means uh, we don't need to uh, explicitly uh, insert any dependency. it will automatically depend, uh, detect that dependency and make the project successful okay okay that means we need to add dependency right it will yes, uh, download the jar files right yes sir from yes. that dependency it will download okay 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 uh, what is the difference in between that simple java project and maven project uh in simple java project we have to uh, include the jar files and in and uh, it will uh, then it will uh, connect that jar files into our project in simple jar our project and in maven project uh, we uh, we did, uh, we give the dependency to the maven project and it will automatically detect the jar files of that maven, of that dependencies okay any other advantages we will get uh, when we use maven sir uh, in maven project uh, it will uh, we have uh, we have test the a project uh, on itself a maven project uh, we create project uh, i don't recommend recognize that okay okay no problem but we will get lots of advantage you need to just prepare for that okay because this question yes. uh, i i i have already seen that may, uh, many interviews ask that like questions what is difference between maven project java project then gradle project or whatever questions uh, they were asked okay uh so yes. no problem utkarsh uh what is exactly collection framework why why we use collection framework sir uh, the main difference between collection framework and array uh, means in the collection uh, we don't have any particular data type we use okay. uh, homogeneous as well as heterogeneous data uh, the collection is uh, growable in nature because it is not in a fixed size uh then uh, in collection we have multiple methods to perform operations on data like uh, uh, add uh, remove uh, then collection is empty uh, that's all okay uh, uh, is map is a part of collection no sir map is a separate interface it is not a part of collection okay 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 no problem uh you know about uh... string constant pool what is uh, it yes sir string con constant pool is a separate area in the heap memory uh, where uh, the object is created in the scp area and uh, if same object is created again uh, by the string uh, variable then it will does not uh, it will not again created that object it will only check the uh, values of that string object and it will refer to the same object in scp area okay 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 good good utkarsh good no problem uh what about final keyword sir final keyword 
uh, it is a keyword in Java, uh, which is uh, if uh, our variable is final, then we cannot uh, change the value of that variable. If our yeah. method is final, then we cannot say, uh, override that method. And if our class is final, then we cannot extend that class. Uh, the local variables are finally final. Uh, means the local variables are final. Okay, okay, okay. Good, 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 Utkarsh. Utkarsh, what will happen when we make constructor as a private? Sir, if we uh, uh, if we create a constructor as a private, we cannot uh, overload that constructor. Okay. It means uh, we can we cannot uh, use the constructor in another uh, method. We another class. We cannot use that person. because because the private uh, access modifier has a scope of uh, means the scope of private modifier is within the class, so we cannot uh, uh, overload that constructor in another class. Okay, can we create the object of that class in another class? Uh, we can say. suppose uh, we have a, we have a student uh, class and the uh, constructor yeah. of that student class is private. So can you create the object yeah. of student class in an, another class? Yes, sir. because the, uh, our class is uh, uh, not private now. So we can create the object of that class. Okay, 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 Utkarsh. Uh, my next question to you, uh, you know advanced Java also. So I will cover yeah. some questions of advanced Java. Uh, what is exactly Spring MVC architecture? Sir, Spring MVC architecture means the uh, model uh, view and controller uh, where uh, in model uh, we write the code uh, of a, uh, what we can say database. Uh, in view, we write the code of the uh, front end uh, technology and in the controller, we write the code of uh, our Java code, means Java language, backend technology. Okay, what is the responsibility of controller class in Spring MVC? What does controller? Uh, it... Yes, sir. Uh, the controller class. Uh, if we give annotation, uh, means uh, at the rate uh, controller on the controller class, it will uh, act as a Spring MVC controller. And if we uh, put uh, at the rate REST controller uh, annotation on the controller class, it will act as a REST API controller. Okay, that means controller is basically handle the request, right? Whatever request yes, coming sir. from the it client, will... it will handle. Right, yes, right, sir. right. That process the request and the response, appropriate response it will give. Okay, yes. uh, you know the flow of controller service and DAO. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, first of all, the if uh, any user uh, give any uh, command to the uh, computer, it means it will first. Uh, give to the uh, controller, then it will goes to the service layer, then it is goes to the DAO layer, and it will uh, face the data, and it will return back to the service layer, and then controller, and it will goes to the user. So my question is that, why we need to maintain that the flow, controller service DAO? Why, what is the reason behind that? Why we maintain the code in the controller after that service, after that DAO? So what is the requirement of this? Uh, because uh, in DAO layer, sir, uh, we write the code of the database. So it will fetch the data from that database code. Uh, in service so layer, but we can, we, uh, we can also write the code of the database into the service. Na? So what is the requirement? Why we need DAO? Why we need service? Uh, we have only one class. So we, we will achieve that also. Na? Right? So what? why yes, sir, we require three be, classes? It will be... Uh, it will uh, become complex. It, Yes, sir. It will become complex. It is easier with the uh, DAO layer, service layer, and co controller layer. Okay. For the code maintainability, for the code Mentab testing, we are writing these yes. three uh, classes. That is controller for the request handling, service for the business logic, and business DAO for the database operation. Okay. Yes. Okay. No problem. Utkarsh, as like questions, uh, also you uh, you will be faced by the interview. Okay. So we need to prepare yes. for that because these questions. Definitely ask by interview. Why service control and why? <laughs> okay, but yes, many sir. freshers don't know. They are like that. Uh, yes, our uh, sir ne kaha hai banane ke liye to ham banayenge. <laughs> okay, no problem. But you, you are giving such a good answer for that. Okay, no problem. 
so uh, I have also seen the questions in Arawan Java. Uh, like uh, uh, we are seeing some annotations, right? So yeah. can you tell me some names of annotations in Spring Boot? Uh, in Spring Boot, uh, we have annotations like controller, uh, REST controller, uh, request body, then uh, path variable, then I think uh, one bin controller. I mean, okay, okay. Component control. Um, what component. is the difference in between bin annotation and component annotation? But actually, I don't know about the okay. name because I but but Utkarsh, you need to prepare that okay because these annotations yes. are very important and at most 25 to 30 annotation you need to know as a fresher okay so all freshers who are seeing this interview guys listen that you must uh, know all these annotations okay and very simple annotation you can go through our channel and check it many annotation i have also covered right so you need to go and check what is bean, what is component, what is difference in between that. Okay, just go and check. Okay, I have to answer this video. You can see the answer in the video. Okay, you can see the answer in the video. Okay, you can clear Okay, Utkarsh, no problem. But uh, can you tell me uh, what is the add the rate value? Or don't know. Uh, sir, add the rate value annotation is used to uh, give the value. Means, uh, uh, it uses to give the solid value to any uh, what we inject the any, value. Uh, in, yes, sir. it will inject the value to in some uh, inject the value from uh, the application dot property file or application dot yml file. Yes. Okay. Okay. No problem. Mm. Can you tell me what is Spring Boot application annotation main annotation, right? So, what is the use of that? Which sir? Spring Boot application. Spring Boot application annotation. It is over the main class. That is Spring Boot main class. At the rate Spring Boot I it before. It is a combination of three annotations. It is a combination of three annotations. Uh, the component scan uh, annotation. Yes. Then uh, at the rate enable auto configuration. Enable ha uh, enable auto configuration and at the rate configuration uh, and, and, and yes. Okay. Okay. No problem. Mm. Okay, uh, simple question. What advantage we will get when we use Spring Boot project? Means, um, means, uh, that means Spring my Boot question project. is that why, why we use Spring Boot? Why we use Spring Boot? There are many technologies in market. So what is the advantage we will get when we use Spring Boot? Sir, uh, in Spring Boot, uh, we get uh, inbuilt Tomcat server. Okay. So we cannot add that server. Uh, uh, then okay. we cannot have to get it uh, manually because uh, its own can create that project. Uh, we cannot take that dependency outside because in the Spring Boot, uh, it gets uh, its own dependencies. Okay. Then it uh, will get an boilerplate. Okay. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. Internet connection issue. No problem. Ah. Okay. Okay. No problem. Uh, Spring Boot having lots of advantages. We will get when we use Spring Boot, right? Okay. No problem. Utkarsh. Mm, some more questions about uh, Advanced Java. I want to ask. Uh, in Advanced Java, uh, we have Hibernate, right? So, yeah. Uh, can you tell me some annotations provided by the Hibernate? Uh, sir, uh, in Hibernate, uh, we have annotations like uh, at the rate entity annotation, at the rate uh, ID annotation, at the rate generated value annotation, then uh, at the rate table annotation, at the rate column annotation. At the rate that. ID annotation is uh, needed annotation or we can uh, skip the annotation uh, at the rate ID or it is must? Sir, uh, uh, at the rate ID annotation is must uh, because it will uh, uh, create uh, and primary key uh, to that column uh, 
because uh, if we want any uh, unique keys in our table, then we have to uh, give at the rate ID annotation above that column. Okay, okay. You know also SQL, right? So can you tell me yes. uh, what are the DDL commands in SQL? Uh, sir, uh, DDL means uh, data definition language and okay. the commands in the DDLs are, uh, I think, create, alter, drop, uh, truncate. Yes, yes, right, 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 and, uh, right. Remote. Yes. Uh, what is the difference in between truncate and drop command? Sir, uh, drop command will uh, uh, directly uh, delete all the table. Uh, okay. which table we have to delete and the truncate will delete the, only the data in that table. It will not directly delete uh, the structure of the table. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about self join? Are you joining your table? What is self join? No, sir. I don't use self join. Okay. Any other join, you know? left join right join full outer join any other join sir uh, i would know in the uh, left hand right join oh, okay. basic okay. of the left hand so what is the use of left join sir the left join is used to uh, paste the data of the left side table and the matching data of that right side table right 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 and right. the right join is used to Paste the data from right side table and matching data of the left side table. So all the data, all the data from right table and matching from the left. Okay, okay. Uh, come to the core Java because core Java is very important as a fresher. When we when you know core Java, then you will get uh, the knowledge of advanced Java. So core Java is very important. Some questions about core Java. What about protected access specifier? Sir, your voice is breaking. Okay, no problem. I will uh, uh, ask again. What is protected access specifier? Okay, uh, the protected access specifier is, uh, means the scope of that pro uh, protected access modifier is uh, within the package and uh, outside of the package, but in the same class. Uh, mm -hmm. The protected, yes. Okay, outside the package and can you tell me again? Same, it is in the same. Outside the package, but in the same class. Okay, okay. Suppose, suppose I have a variable that is protected and I want to access that variable outside the package. Can I access? Sir, actually your voice is breaking continuously. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now clear? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, one minute. I just check the internet connection. Okay, huh. now clear? Hello, hello. My test. Yes, sir. Hello. Okay, yes. suppose I have a variable that is protected variable uh, in student class. Okay, and I want to access that uh, protected yes. variable in another package. So can I access that? Sir, uh, we can access that, but uh, is the uh, variable, it is in the same class. Same. Another package, but in the same class. Another package in the same class, how it's possible, brother? Because listen that, <clears throat> I have a student class in com.demo package, okay? Com.demo package, I have a student yeah. class, and in that I have a, a protected variable ID. So I want to access that ID variable in com.ram package and there is one class that is test. So can I access that? Yes, sir. We can access that. We can access. No. Protected access specifier tells that we can access the variable, protected variable within the same class, within a package. But when we try to access outside the package, then we need to extend that particular class. That means uh, by using child ah. class reference, we can access that. Okay. Ah, yes, sir. We need to make child class. Okay, no problem. Uh, Utkarsh, um, some questions I want to ask. 
uh, which uh, concepts remaining i think uh, all concepts are uh, covered but uh, some concepts i want to ask mm, you know jdbc right yes sir so they are having prepared statement and statement which one to use prepared statement or statement which is better sir uh, both having its own uh, advantages and disadvantages but uh, we use the prepared statement because uh, it is dynamically write the query okay uh, we don't have to write the static query in there uh, the prepared statement is a interface so uh, it's having gate, uh, gate and state methods so we can access the variables from that gate and state methods uh, that's the so prepared okay. statement is used in now okay okay we will get lots of advantage when we use prepared statement as compared to statement because prepare yes. statement is compiles once but execute the query number of times ha right? execute it is allowed to add yes. the parameter values right we can add the parameter also right ha default and parameter both are okay accepted. okay 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 mm. okay so all these questions this my side and utkarsh you are good at core java as well as advanced java okay uh, you know security spring security uh so little bit about spring security i watch your videos now oh. that's it okay so just see guys security is also important as a fresher i want to uh, tell i uh, i want to tell you some uh, things listen as a fresher you need to know core java is good okay good i me kya keh raha hu dekho good matlab acche se pata hona chahiye core java then advanced java mein aapko aana chahiye jsp servlet aana chahiye but जेएसपी सलेट पे क्वेश्चंस कोई नहीं पूछता ओके ओके कोई नहीं पूछता आप क्वेश्चन जेएसपी सलेट पे आपको अब स्प्रिंग बुट अच्छे से आना चाहिए स्प्रिंग बुट के एनोटेशन जो आप मैंने आपको बताए सारे एनोटेशन आपको आने चाहिए ठीक है सारे एनोटेशन मतलब तीस से लेकर पैंतीस एनोटेशन आने ही चाहिए तो जो की इंपॉर्टेंट है और रही बात स्प्रिंग सिक्योरिटी की तो स्प्रिंग सिक्योरिटी आना चाहिए बेसिक स्प्रिंग सिक्योरिटी मैं नहीं बात कर रहा हूँ आपको जेडब्ल्यू टी टोकन आना चाहिए ऑथ ऑथेंटिकेशन आना चाहिए बहुत बड़ी बड़ी चीजें आनी चाहिए नहीं आपको आ जाएगी वो बट अभी के लिए आपको सिंपल सिक्योरिटी मेंटेन करनी आनी चाहिए ठीक है तो आप सीख सकते हो हमारे चैनल पे बहुत सारा चीज अवेलेबल भी है तो उत्कर्ष यू आर गुड एट कोर जावा एडवांस जावा ओके बेसिक इंप्रूवमेंट नीडेड फ्रॉम यू एंड मुझे पता है आप कर भी लोगे और बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट देख रहे हो वो भी कर लेंगे ठीक है तो इस इंटरव्यू से आपको कहीं फायदा मिला होगा अच्छा okay. लगा होगा तो आपको क्या करना है वीडियो ज्यादा से ज्यादा शेयर करो वीडियो अच्छा लगा तो लाइक करो और आपको भी इंटरव्यू देना है तो जुड़ जाओ मेरे साथ मैं रेडी हूँ इंटरव्यू लेने के लिए ठीक है तो उत्कर्ष आपको कैसे लगा दो मिनट में आप फीडबैक दे दो सर बहुत बढ़िया लगा आ, मैंने कितने दिन से ट्राई कर रहा था आपके साथ इंटरव्यू के लिए लेकिन आपका टाइम का इश्यू था इसलिए वो नहीं रहा था तो आज फाइनली टाइम मिल गया यस मुझे भी अच्छा लगा उत्कर्ष आपके साथ बिकॉज प्रेशर गाइस देखो हमें थोड़ा सा सपोर्ट की जरूरत होती है थोड़ी सी चीजें बताने की जरूरत पड़ती है राइट बिकॉज बहुत सारे प्रेशर्स बहुत सारे प्रेशर्स माइंड में उनके क्या चल रहा है डोंट नो बहुत मतलब डिप्रेशन में जा रहे तो गाइज ऐसा मत करो टेंशन मत लो अच्छे से चीजें करो जो आप लगेगी सबको ऐसा नहीं कि ये आया, आया है मतलब जो आप नहीं लगेगी लगेगी थोड़ा सा थोड़ा सा स्ट्रगल करो सब कुछ चीजें सही हो जाएगी ठीक है चलो उत्कर्ष मिलते हैं हम एक और ऐसे इंटरव्यू में ठीक है चलो टाटा बाय बाय थैंक यू थैंक यू